What's up, everybody? Titan Gamer here. Gonna be t gonna be uh, showing like one easy way to do it if you have like Red's wings. I don't know an easy way of fighting Duke Fishron without Red's wings. Like I think you can do it. You just need like a, a like a several small platforms like flowing up in the sky and stuff like that, and like use those as landing platforms so your wings regenerate. But other than that, it's a pain in the butt. And as you see, I got plenty of truffle worms. Pretty much to get a truffle worm, they're a real pain. But you see, like, this blue area, I'll go down to it just to show you. Hey, look, Christmas bunny. Bunny dead. But pretty much, you just go down here. Also, if you're uh, in a match you can, and you have, like, it set to online mode, you can be in the map so you can know when to stop. Like, say, if like, you have a grappling hook, you can just make a elevator and then use this as a break and grapple. But pretty much, you go to this biome, you need a bug net, just so you know. You go to this biome, and then you just randomly go around, and there will be a little worm on the ground walking around. You have to catch it with a bug net before it disappears. And just so you know, this is very important. Little mobs, like, say, that little thing, they can actually go over the thing, and if they walk into it, they can kill it. Or if they shoot it, they're an attack weapon, or a range what unit. Or pretty much they can go for that, you get that thing with a bug net, then you need it. Then you need a fishing rod. Doesn't matter how. Doesn't matter what kind of fishing rod. Any kind of fishing rod. Just have you. And you also have to use priority for uh, the bait. Like if it, if you have two types of bait in your inventory, it prioritizes from whatever is in the top most highest row and most to the left. Like say like if I had uh, my journeyman bait like down here, it would prioritize the truffle worms. If I had the journey bait up here, it would prioritize the journeyman bait. So pretty much you just uh. You get the you get the bait. You get a fishing rod. You so a lot of people use potions. I don't use potions because I don't really need them. Because my my gear is like all set up for for doing stuff like that. And another another word of advice: if you fight Duke Fish Run, never and I mean never leave the beach biome. If you leave it, you will die. Because the way Duke Fish Run is programmed, he's like Plantera. If you exit where it belongs, it will get enraged and pretty much turn into the gar the gar the dungeon guardian from a uh, oh the dungeon. Pretty much upgrade is pretty much an up extremely deadly unit that will one shot you. Pretty much, go away, Taurus. Oh sweet Taurus, I can make a video on that. Pretty much, you just get to the beach. This is the, just like the ocean. You get to the ocean. You don't have to be in the ocean. Just add it. But it's preferred to stay in the biome. Like mine apparently doesn't have much. And I don't have music playing, so I don't know if it's the actual biome. Pretty much, you go up to it, just throw your fishing rod. When you see it get caught, this is what you do it. Some people do like a minecart strategy or other stuff, you can look that stuff up. But if you have red wings, you can go off my strategy. Do that, he summons out of the water, and pretty much what I do is I just move around in like a specific like circle circular platform. He has two stages. He does first. He has a regular stage. He fires little bubbles occasionally, and he also fires two tornadoes out, like those. He fires those out, and then they turn into two tornadoes, sharknadoes, those which fire sharks at you, which aren't that, which are kind of deadly, and you never want to fly into them. If you fly into them, you lose a lot of health. Pretty much, I just do this. Sometimes I can use my flare on until I get hit, which deals a lot more damage. He also fires bu exploding bubbles at you, and I think I just put him in enragement mo in uh, stage two. If he gets to half health, he enters stage two, which he does that, making more bubbles. And as you see, he does a lot of damage, even though I have beetle armor. He does another thing called a Cthulhu NATO, that little thing that just chased me. Instead of those shark NATOs, he fires a Cthulhu NATO, which is a lot deadlier, and even with beetle armor, as at my tier, it will take half of your health. And I just killed him. Here's all his loot. This is how you get the flare on, the bubble gun, the razor pine ty typhoon. And is what it called? Ra razor pine typhoon? Yeah, razor pine typhoon. You can also get his wi You can also get Duke fish on wings, which I think are pretty good. If you don't have red wings, of course. You can get those, and then you can also get his mask. I think those are all things. Let's see: bubble gun, flare on, razor pine tycoon, wings. Yeah, I think that's everything you get from him. But pretty much, that's an easy way of fighting Duke Fishron. Bet 
your best friend for if you're fighting Duke Fishron is Vampire Knives. If you start losing health, always switch to the Vampire Knives and try to get them as high damage as possible and as fast as possible. Then you will deal the most damage possible. Also, word of advice for like most melee weapons, if they're on actually already like doing multiple things, like my flare on, it does multiple bubbles, so I don't need legendary or anything like that. Get ruthless because it does more damage. And also, if you notice, I don't have a sword because I don't use the sword. You, I have the ter I have the terror blade, but I don't use it, so I just use this for teleporting around, which I will make a video on that in a bit, maybe. But anyway, that's how you fight, fight Duke Fish Run, how you get his loot and everything, or what his loot is. I'm not going to, like, sit through and, like, go get every single thing, because then the video would be too long. I mean, I could collect it all, but I already own it all, besides the wings, because I don't care about the wings. But anyway, that's all the loot. I'm going to end the video here.